One of the disadvantages to online gaming and other online services is that if they don't like you, they can block your IP address so that you can't access their site. Well, one method for fighting back is to change your IP address if it gets blocked. And this video will show you one way to do that. A MAC address, uh, no not that one, is a unique identifier assigned to most network adapters. MAC addresses are used to determine what IP address a computer will have. So one way to change your IP address is by changing your MAC address. Before continuing, let me explain a little bit more as to how this works. Here you have the World Wide Web, and here's your computer. If your computer is connected directly to the internet, then your computer's IP address is what the web sees. It's how the web identifies your computer. If you're connected through a router, as shown in this scenario, then the web sees the router's IP address instead of your computer's IP address. So it doesn't matter what computer you use, if it's connected to the same router, then the web will only see it as one IP address. In some cases, you may have a modem and the modem may have its own IP address. If this is the case for you, then unfortunately you can't change it. But I will show you how to change the IP address using the previous two scenarios. The method I'm about to show you is only for Windows systems. So if you have a Mac or Linux system, then you'll need to use the link below for instructions. In Windows, click on the Start menu and type CMD in the search box or the Run box if you're still using Windows XP. This will launch the command window. From here, type in ipconfig forward slash all. Find your computer's network card and the physical address listed will be the MAC address. And the IPv4 address is your computer's IP address. Next, you will need to download a free program called Mac Makeup. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and extract it and then launch the program. If you're using Vista or Windows 7, you'll need to right click on macmakeup.exe and choose Run as Administrator. If you have multiple network cards, you can choose the one you want to use from the drop down menu at the top. And then to change the MAC address, you can either choose the Generate Random button to generate one based on the MAC address or the manufacturer's ID. You can also select a specific manufacturer from the drop down menu. And once you have a new MAC address, click the change button and it's going to apply the changes. Now just go back to the command menu and reset the internet connection by typing ipconfig forward slash release. And then once that's processed, type in ipconfig forward slash renew. Once it renews, you should see that you have a new IP address. Now before we change the MAC address on your router, let's find out what your actual IP address is. To do this, go to whatismyip.com and write down the IP address that it gives you. Now you want to go back to the command prompt on your computer and type in ipconfig forward slash all and then find the IP address of the default gateway. Now open up a web browser and type in this default gateway into the address bar. Once you hit enter, it should prompt you for a username and password. If you never set up a username and password for your router, then you can find the username and passwords for most routers at the website below. Once you're in, find the settings for your router and then find where your router's MAC address is located. In some cases, depending on what type of router you have, you can clone the MAC address of your computer to the router and change it that way. In other cases, you can enter in your own custom IP address that you can generate using the Mac Makeup utility. And then when you're through, apply the changes and wait for your router to reset. Now go back to whatismyip.com and see if the IP address has changed. If the IP on whatismyip.com doesn't change, then the odds are that your modem probably has your IP address. And like I said before, you probably can't change this without actually ripping apart the modem and doing some hacking to the components inside. Um, or another semi-easy way is to call your internet service provider and request a replacement modem. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.